Okay, sucker lovers. Raul and I are here today to give you what you've been waiting for for days. The test of the new vacuum cleaner. I've put it together, but I haven't actually turned it on yet, so this will be the first time it's actually used. So the question is, who is the biggest sucker? The old Talus, Raul, or the new Lupe vacuum cleaner? Well, what I'm going to do, haven't vacuumed in the lounge for um, a week or so, so I'm going to give it a once over with the old Talus, just as I normally would do. And then just out of sheer interest, we'll give it another run over with the new loop and see whether it actually picks up anything more or not. Obviously, if it doesn't pick up any more, then you'll never see this video. But if it does, it'll be interesting to see how much. So here we go. Hopefully, the last time that I ever have to vacuum the lounge with the talus. And part of the problem, of course, with the old talus is this damn cord always gets in the way. And these days, the socket is also a little bit loose, which means if you pull the vacuum too much in one direction, it just comes off and it powers off. Most annoying. All right, done. So that's probably about what the... Uh, the carpet would get on an average weekend Saturday morning of cleaning up. Um, certainly all the stuff that was on the top of the, uh, the carpet itself has gone. I can't see any debris sitting around anymore. Um, so let's get rid of this beast and we'll see what the new one's capable of doing. Alrighty, one loop vacuum. Stands up quite nicely. So uh, basically this thing will, the interesting aspect to it is that it has a completely standalone battery. You can take that out, get new batteries, replacement batteries, spare batteries, just has a little charger port on the top. So that's pretty cool. Um, this button here is what we use to pull off the dust catcher. Pretty easy. And it's, oh, let's have a look inside this. Smells plasticky new. There has never been any dust in this to date. But that's about to change. So that goes in and out quite easily. Clips in. Got another clip here, which allows us to unclip the main body. We can unclip the hose. So we've got a handle there. It'll stand up like this, unclip the handle, change the wand around so we can now clip that in there, hold this, start it up, and with one of the normal other attachments on the head, you can wander around, do your ceilings, your little crevices, whatever. So not only is it a standalone floor vacuum, it's a great little multi-purpose vac as well. Well, I say it's great. To be fair, we haven't used it yet. So, proof is still in the pudding. Let's see. So we can put main handle back on. Clip it back to the body. Clip the hose in. And like any good upright, it'll stand around by itself. As soon as we do that, we're away laughing. So we've got three power switching uh, settings, Econo, Normal, and High Speed. Um, they suggest for battery performance to use Normal in most cases, rather than the, the high um, performance. Um, so what I'm gonna do with this is just turn it on, and as I say, haven't turned this beast on before, did charge the battery up, so hopefully it is going to work. Um, but we'll just run over the floor again with normal, and we'll see whether this thing actually picks up any additional rubbish. So, one button touch. Oh, now this is the other thing, apparently the Dysons, you actually have to trigger it to stay it on. This thing doesn't, it's a one button on and you're away. So, here we go, the big reveal. Hey, it's on! Yes, it works! And I've got to say, I'll have to uh, play this back on the, uh, the video editing suite and have a look at it, but 
know, from a noise perspective, I think this is quieter than the old Talus. All right, so now the big question is, well shit, let's get a close up of this. Okay, so we've done the first vacuum, did the carpet with the talus first, then did a run over of the same carpet immediately afterwards with the loop, just to give it a go. Um, I've taken the dust catcher off and I'm going to empty it up now just to see what it's managed to pick up on the second go around. So, so here we go. This is the telling result. You see there's a reasonable bit of quite fine dust around the edges there. Oh, and actually, look at all of this. Look at this. Good grief. That is unbelievable. That is seriously unbelievable. So I think we're pretty much empty in there now. Doesn't look like there's too much more in here. This is where the filter is. Um, hasn't got too much stuff on the outside of that, it's pretty cool. But, so we've got, there's hair in there, as you would expect. Um, anytime you uh, empty the old talus, there's, there's lots of hair, so we're always shedding hair. But good grief, look at this in terms of the extra dust that this is picked up off that carpet immediately after vacuuming with the talus. And this was at just the normal um, power. It, it wasn't even the excess power. And there is a significant amount of very, very fine um, dust here. So presumably this is stuff that was in amongst the, the loop and the weave of the, the carpet which the old talus just hadn't been capable of picking up. Well, you know, I've got to say, I'm, I'm actually gobsmacked by that. I was expecting that this new machine would pick up a little bit more than the old cleaner, but I absolutely did not expect to see this. That is just absolutely incredible and to be honest I'm almost a bit scared to try it with the high power option because I don't know how much more it's going to pick up and honestly I did not do any vacuum in any other place other than that which I did with the talus. All right so having been absolutely shocked with what this is, new machine has got off the carpet immediately after doing it with the talus I'm almost a little bit scared to, to do this now, but what I'm going to try, I've put the dust catcher back on. I'm going to fire it up and give it a go with the high power mode. Um, pretty much just go over it the same again and see what we get then. So here we go. On. Wake it up to high power. Bit noisier, but let's go. Yeah, certainly try to pull it off the ground and you can you can physically feel that suction. That is impressive. Turn it back down so that's your normal noise level. And off. Alright, I'm almost scared to do this. Let's go and take another look. Alright, so what we've got here on the left of the screen is the extra dust and hair and stuff that was picked up 
by the loop after the first go over at normal mode uh, immediately after running the talus. So now we've got a couple of extra white bits of paper. We've now run the machine over using the high power mode, which obviously sucks a lot harder. Let's just check <laughs> if we've got anything else. A little bit of extra hair up there in the dust catcher. But that's pretty much it, I think. Let's have a look at the filter. Yeah, that's not too bad. And these filters, by the way, are actually cleanable, easily cleanable. So that's another bonus of these machines. But here we go. High power. So yet again, there's a bit more here and there. And there is a lot of this fine, I guess it must be the wool off the carpet or other material, but I mean, you know, if I shake this, shake, 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 as Taylor Swift would say, look at all that really, really, really fine dust that's in here. Again, you know, yeah, this is, this is very, very fine stuff. So I would say, you know, this material is being picked right up, right out of the bottom of the pile in the carpet. Well, what more can I say? Yep, it wasn't a cheap vacuum cleaner, um, but by and large, neither was the TELUS back in the day. Uh, what I will say is that absolutely we paid via the Kickstarter program probably half of what we would have paid for a new Dyson. Um, never actually used one of the, the V11 upright Dysons, but as I say, the, the fact that it needs a trigger, I was never overly keen on that. Certainly using the loop here on the carpet has been great. Um, was it worth it? Pfft, hell, looking at that dust on the table, I would say yes. Okay, so we went over this carpet twice more after doing the talus, which you normally wouldn't do. But in doing so, I would say it pretty much highlights that the old talus, while it was good at picking up all the loose stuff off the top of the carpet pile, has been, you know, doing that job okay for a while, that it's just not up to the sucking power of a new vacuum. And yeah, we've obviously got a lot more dust out of the carpet here. Um, it's going to be interesting trying this on some of the fabricy curtains and stuff we've got in the bedrooms as well. So, there you have it. My good mate Roll is going to be very happy not having to lug the old talus around the, uh, the room anymore, and particularly not to get that cord stuck in his toes. It's a real bugbear for him. Um, and frankly, after hmm, the last 10 years or so, I'll be quite pleased not to be dragging that thing around the carpet as well. Don't get me wrong, we're not going to throw it away. We'll keep it out in the garage as a spare in case anything does happen to go wrong with this one or we need something to vacuum the garage. But by and large, even though it took 18 months, I'm pretty happy with the new vacuum.